Hello everybody, welcome to the first quarter final of Season 38 CCL Playoffs, otherwise known as Chalice. Um, in the booth with me is Purple Chest, hello. What a festival of Blood Bowl we are looking forward to in these quarterfinals. And kicking us off is this incredibly <laughs> dominant looking Wood Elf team. But, uh, you know, still AV7, still Wood Elves. They can still get banged on. Yeah, they can, but what a, what a team. What, what dancers they've got, haven't they? Strength Oof. for tackle, mighty blow, strip, sidestep, incredible. The other one, edge five, wrestle, tackle, strip, sidestep. He's got three guarders. Um, and yeah, nice catches. Very nice team, isn't it? Move up, move up a tree so it won't lie in its ass for half the game. No, oh, I mean, it's it's the best dancers I've seen since Pan's people. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty good, weren't they? But it's, uh, I mean, it's the guard that's going to kill you. If you can get enough of that off the field, there is a route. Um, you know, because even a strength four dancer, if it hasn't got a lot of assists, there's things one can be, do about it. But And as we saw last last time uh, Nick was out, you know, he, he's very prone to throwing an earlier pot if either of his dancers go down. So there are some routes there to taking out the, the real worrying dancers, and uh, I think that lies in trying to isolate and take out some of these guards. Uh, yeah. Well, he's going for the blitz with the, the stab blitz with hemlock there. Yep. <laughs> I uh, wouldn't be doing that personally, but it's, I mean, there's some. Again, AV7 it is a, a route to possible successes, isn't it? As it's failed, he's having to eye cage it in. Um, Obviously, that does leave him needing a, a three, followed by a two to get out of that, which uh, you, know, you may just say that it's not difficult for elves to do whatever they want any time, and I would completely agree. Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, G Car. He hasn't got a lot, has he? He's got a Rackle no. Fender. He's got a Bear. Like, this isn't an exciting kids their team. He's done very well to get the quarterfinal, but I think, yeah. to quote Rebel and Gadenix, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Gadenik's new mode. This stops now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, there's a bear. The bear's all right. It's got block and, and guard. That's all right for a bear. Mm. I'd love to see stand firm on it too, but beggars can't be choosers. It's it's good for what it's got. Um, and he's got a lot of wrestle, which, you know, is a, is a good thing for Kislev. Mm. He's still going to lose horribly, but we'll, it'll be entertaining to see how. Yeah, I mean, you know, like we're hyping this up a bit in in Gadenik's favour, but he's probably only like a 70-30 favour or something, right? It's like it's it's not that easy. It's not nailed on at all. No, um, it's it's definitely not. Um, he's a strong favourite, but it's it's blood bowl and pick you know pick the right options, get the right rolls, and uh, anything can happen. He does have a nice catcher um, and another catcher. Yeah, I don't like assisting with such a good catcher here. Like, I can see, obviously, no, I think that there. was a bit risky. But, yeah. um, you know, he, he, he just doesn't have the pieces to, to block the space otherwise. So, true. he is going to have to put some decent pieces at risk at times. And, of course, rely on those three pluses, which we've already seen his first one fail. But at least it was only a stunt. They do come with slightly stronger armor across the team, of course, than the Wood Elves. Uh, so, whilst the Wood Elves do have a strength for Mighty Blow Dancer to do their hitting... Which, of course, means they don't need to leave an assist in place. We uh, we talked about that last game. The difference between perhaps a Frenzy Strength 4 giving options to control the sidelines and a non-Frenzy Strength 4 giving that precision blitzing without assists, which can be really useful to us. Yep. Pepper Biscuit, Dr. Marmavasco. Wow, and that's his... Uh, I think that was only his second attempt at a 1-in-3 leap. And that one <laughs> failed too, again to a stun. Love to see it. Oh, now he's going for the only the two D. He could have put in that uh, that yeah. catch and make it a three again, but he relies on the two this time. Gets the removal, beautiful. I mean, with with tackle and mighty blow, it's it's not bad odds, is it? No. Uh, but yeah, the third one, particularly as he's moving pieces into that area, a, a tiny bit lazy not to put the third one in. Yeah, I guess he's just scared of like not getting the power right and then having sure. the catcher stab because he would obviously dodge away. Um, um, and despite the hemlock stab not being that terrifying a weapon, it, it, it was a route to really change things in this game. Because hemlock, of course, being a stunty, can get inside cages, can dodge through screens. And then that stab against AV7 can be pretty lethal. So I, I really liked that as a blitz target. Which is why uh, why Gcard did try and uh, cover it, didn't he, with that screen. But it, it didn't work. And then the leap failed, leaving him out of position and hemlock vulnerable. 
Yep. Crusher is a Crusher is a Minotaur, not a horse. Do I do worry a little bit that that bear's slightly out of position over there? It is, yeah. I don't like going hard one way or the other. I think you've got to keep him kind of centrally, haven't you? I mean, I suppose the ball's over that side, but I mean, with elves, the ball can be wherever they want on any given turn. That's the concern. Um, you've got to be really careful when you commit a piece like that that it's it's going to be useful for a few turns and not instantly marginalised. So there we're seeing him blitz the piece off it to try and get that bear back central and it decided it was going to be stupid. Ooh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hello Skuro and hello everyone else I haven't said hello to. Hemlock is a rowdy sack fish. <laughs> I suppose that's lizard. <laughs> it's a troll. Oh, um, okay. Ripper. The most famous of all trolls. Currently the most dead. Yeah. I think he'll be back. Yeah, I'm sure he will be. He's a pretty strong brand. And I, I think people like him. I think Games Workshop will make a nice figure and then start selling him. Yeah. Dangerous for this catcher, isn't it? He does have a. He is stuck on a blitzer, and the mm. diving tackle can be decent against elves. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, people don't like the the Slan or Kislev blitzers, and I get why they are very expensive for the stat line they arrive with. Um, a blitzer that comes block free is always a bit of a worry. Uh, but once they skill up, I mean, they are only 10k more expensive than a human blitzer, and suddenly put three skills on them, and they start to be very, very fierce at times. Yeah. yeah, they're incredible once they start getting the skills. Oh. And big there, the bear getting through some work. That's nice. I would say a big removal. It's the least big po removal possible. But it's round for the whole game. So Yeah. You know. And it's 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 numbers. You know, the, the route to success here isn't necessarily stopping this touchdown drive. But it is whittling the elf numbers down and then getting even more on top of them in the second half. And perhaps pushing them to OT with very few elves. I can see that working. Yep. Of course, if you can stop them, that's even better. But it's perhaps not the biggest priority. Yeah, exactly, Muppet. But that's, that's the kind of best thing about, like, dark elves, isn't it? Is how easy it is to replace them. Um, you know, just being one skill away from Blodge is, is disgusting, isn't it? And Witch Elves. Witch Elves and Blitzers, both of them are, like, so good. Wow, re-rolling that. You really wanted the power lane, didn't you? Really, really did. And he's trying to go over the kind of layered cage here, isn't he? I mean, I, I don't hate it, I suppose. In the first half, the re-rolls are a lot more disposable than the second half. If you feel the position is secure, he's he's got a few on board, Nick, hasn't he? He's still got three. Yeah. Um, for only three more turns after this, so he certainly had a re-roll in hand to spend. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's easy to get 2D on the ball here, isn't it? Yes. Well, you say easy. I mean, it's it's easy, but it, it's going to rely on some Kislev Kisleving. And they're often terrible at that, weirdly. <laughs> yeah. The one thing they do, they just don't do particularly well. <laughs> hello, Chaos Baba, and hello, Yeti. Who's your favourite Channel 4 news presenter? Uh, pass. Jon Snow, is he still alive? Yeah, he is. Still there doing you. the job. <laughs> there you go, then. I knew I knew a girl who thought that Nick Frost was was Jon Snow. <laughs> Which I thought was quite, <laughs> Which I thought was quite funny. Uh. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big uh, big Jon Snow fan, but I uh, I do have a very big soft spot for Krishna Guru Murphy. Yeah, they're the big two, aren't they? They are the big two, and I'm I'm quite happy with either of those on my TV screen. <laughs> so that was a foul. He got sent off, but I mean, he's got he's got plenty of reserves. Hello, Randy Tanner. 
this tree is just a runner, isn't it? Sprinting down the field. Absolutely. Hello, Yeti. I'm not, I'm not sure I like this carrying it on the strength too. I guess he's got the wizard as well. Okay, so that makes it. He's I think it is very uh, passively then, hasn't he, with a wizard and and with Kislev? Mm -hmm. And and yet we haven't seen a sort of concerted attempt to sack the ball yet. This this uh, half of we, which you know, as you pointed out, was very doable, and instead he chose a bear blitz on a somewhat inessential piece. Mm, he's, he's barely tried to stop the ball, the the score, has he? <laughs> you know, he just hasn't done anything. He, I think he should have that, defended this that, hard. That bear's made it all the way across to the other side of the pitch and uh, managed to completely marginalise itself again. Yep. <laughs> right, so the wizard has come in, the bolt has worked, it's removed the ball carrier and uh, and left that ball just sat on the green. Mm. And here comes the... Uh, I was saying, here comes the bear. There goes the bear. to somewhere quite a long way away from the ball. Gets the power. In order to get three die on the catcher again. Okay. Yep. So well, he really is leaning into, uh, as I outlined, just trying to get as many elves down as possible. Well, that, this frees the tackle zone, doesn't it, for the, uh, yeah. the other pass. He's got the sure hands here, ready to leap. And Still got a blitz to try and uh, perhaps move. Oh, no, he's just cutting a hole. That doesn't cut a Why? hole. Why? No. Oh, he's... I mean, it sort of does, but not. Uh, he hasn't actually got any pieces to use it. One, two. So he leaps over him, doesn't he? It means picking up in a tackle zone but he's got after a three, three plus, but oh, the pickup worked. He fails the one in nine dodge. Yeah, the three, three plus dodge with reroll did not work for him. That's, I think that's going to be pretty brutal seeing the wizard used and uh, and no great uh, gain. He had an out ball, didn't he? That's why the uh, the bear moved where it did. Yeah, yeah, it was. Just it to give him that that out pass. Just needed that one more two plus after that, and he was perhaps away. Yeah, yeah, he had, a, he had a real shot there. I mean, I, I just think there were the pieces to move that uh, tackle zone off the ball. Yeah, I think it's over now. Not that because he's spunked his wizard. <laughs> now the ball's and in with the wizard field. gone. All straight onto the strength four dancer. Yeah. How'd you wrestle me now? Yeah, that's the thing in it. Uh, he hasn't even got a strip, he's only got rattle, hasn't he? Yeah, that was a good chance. It, it, it wasn't the best because he had to go a long way. He did have to go a long way to, to do it. Like, it, it wasn't it wasn't a great chance, like, overall, was it? But um, if everything no. was a bit closer. Oh. Big fail on the bear there. Fuh -fuh. Fail for Lorna. And that's it. And that's it. So we will be 1-0. Um, I'm not sure these kids left have much of a one-turning option. <laughs> I mean, they look like they should with move 7, agility 4 catchers, but it's just very, very hard to get them where you want them with, uh, with the kids left doing the hitting. Yeah. This is a bit uh, shit and wrong from... Kadenik, wasn't it? Just making a 2D blitz there. I, yeah, I think he's, yeah, he wants to score on the right elf. Yeah, but he still had this guy, he still had, he still had three, three of the dudes, not doing anything. Yeah, I mean, you're right, that could easily have been a three die. Yeah. Um, without really removing the screen from the ball, because there sort of wasn't one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like either, either totally protect the handoff. Yeah. Or, or uh, protect the blitz. Yeah. Or don't do them and just score. Yeah. Yeah, but, I, would, uh, <laughs> I would have favoured just scoring. Yeah, just I have scoring. a feeling if we mouse over the one that scored, it's probably given it a skill, hasn't it? So I wouldn't imagine he'd have done it without that. I've got no idea which one scored. 31. It was one of the guard pieces. So probably the guard dodge one. Ah, yes, yes, that got me. Yeah, hurt. there we go. So that's going to be uh, either wrestle or block, making yeah. it uh, just a lot more useful for next round. Yeah, fair enough, then. Well, and then, as you said, still, I would probably have protected either the blitz or the handoff a tiny bit more. Yeah. But that's like, that's nitpicky, isn't it, to be fair? 
Yeah, it, it is absolutely. I mean, it's it was a fine play with really low fail odds, but but they could have been a tiny, tiny bit lower still. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. We'll put do the uh, do the hand off. Yes, because if it needs the reroll, you then probably don't do the blitz. Yeah. Um, that's probably a better order, Muppet. I think that's right. Now, obviously not trying to take on the tree, though he's uh, he's double marked it to stop it hitting on a blitz, interestingly. <laughs> and trying with the bear to get some damage on these elves, but... Killed him. He kills one! Can't have all that, can he? A rookie lineman. No, absolutely not. Now, the elves not long on numbers here. With another line of scrimmage to come, so two more hits on uh, susceptible elves at the start of the second arc. The whole whittle them down plan, because if you can get rid of enough, then you can get oh, hold of the dancers. It's much harder to keep them safe if there's no screen in front of them, obviously. Mm. Interesting he punched with the wrong guy. I guess he, he had wrestled, so he just didn't care about getting an extra hit. He is armored 10 with mighty blow, so yeah, I guess that's probably right to hit with a wrestle there, isn't it? It's, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you, there's always just the tiniest chance you hurt a tree, but it really is very tiny. <laughs> yes, help and don't come on, boss, come on. <laughs> very, very bad KOs there. That's two out of two fails. Oh my god, look at the heat. Wow, okay. Four out of four, none out of. <laughs> so yeah, four out of. Uh... For the kids left. So not only did their. Uh... Oh no, one of their KOs came back. Okay, so they had one KO fail. That was Hemlock, which would have been useful. And four out for the Heat. Against the Elves, nothing. My god. That's disgusting. Look well, a dog. Good day, Nick. I know some people say it isn't, but it. it genuinely is a dice based game Jim I've got a whole bag of them to prove it it really is a good bit of existing from Gdernik <laughs> oh, now the heat's turned to a blizzard oh god and a blizzard which of course always favours the quicker team and the quicker team here is the wood elves <laughs> yep <laughs> everything's coming up good day and the bear really not getting the powers it needs. <laughs> I think I might have made that three die just because... I mean, he can't though. He just hasn't got the players, does he? And where does he go? Where is possible? He has to move the ball because it's not safe. He can't go anywhere safe. No, he couldn't have run backwards. They'd have got to him. So he had to pass it. Has to move the ball forward. So at least the pass works. Yeah. Runs past the tree. Now he has to hand off because he's still not safe. Oof, and they haven't got catch these catches, have they? Nope. They've got diving catch, haven't they? Yes. Which means if you throw it to them and it's accurate, or just past them, or, you know, in the squares around them and it's accurate, they've got a brilliant chance of catching it. They actually catch an accurate pass on a one. Um, yeah, They're, you're not strictly correct there, uh, Purple Chest. <laughs> because it's bugged. It's bugged in Blood Bowl oh. 2. <laughs> oh. So it's not coded, right? Um, but yeah, so, so they're like they're basically like edge five if they're in the tackle zone for catching. But if you throw an accurate pass to the square next to them, they yep. should catch it on a two plus, but they only yep. catch it on a three plus. Brilliant. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is, I hear coding is very hard, Jim. <laughs> yeah, and it's hard when you don't know the rules, and these guys they're not they don't play blood bowl, do they? And even if they did, they probably don't know the rules. So yes. I'm also not entirely sure they care. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so when you combine all of those things, it's very hard to get the rules right. <laughs> the Edge 5 is not coming for the recovery. Oh, he is coming for the recovery. No, he's not. Mm. Well, I was going to say, when the Edge 5 didn't go in to make that a surf, I had a feeling we were going to see the recovery. Yeah. Uh, but of course, we missed the feisty uh, guard dodge into the middle of the three tackle zones there to make that all. Uh, as easy as it was. Oh no, I'm, I'm misreading behind the bear, aren't I? Oh. He's got the two plus dodge out. Feels that I was a three plus because of the bear. Yeah. 
and the bear has a prehensile chain. It, it was a double one anyway, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wow, well, he's killed before, and he will kill again. Apple works. Sorry, I was thinking about Rick Reckless, but the bear has <laughs> done so too. Um, oh dear, this is awful for the for the kids, though, isn't it? This is just painful now. Oh, well, he's in the Although, end zone. He's got a plan, and I don't hate this plan. No. Except that oh, passing in the, the snow way. is very, very difficult. He's not passing, is he? He's gone the wrong way to pass. Okay, yeah. He I chickened not... out of the pass. Oh no, he, he the, the square he's on, if he was straight in front of that cat, that receiver, he was in range, because yeah. in snow you can only do the, the two shortest ranges, and he is seven away, isn't he? One, two, three. Yeah, which meant it would have been a a pass that, that was available, so if it's a bit right surprising. Way. Yeah, if he'd gone the right way, I think he could have reached, but he went yeah, no, he could. the wrong way. But with the diagonal obviously prevents that. Uh, but he did his maths and worked out that he was nigh on unsackable there. Mm. Um, so he chickened out um, and went for a different plan, which if it kills a turn and gets the touchdown, is great. Of course, mm. there is still a blitz on if this piece makes its 3 plus 2 plus, which elves, so of course it does. Yep. Gets its bow. And gets cast. How's your day been? <laughs> <laughs> I, cut, I cut a tree down, I'm feeling very good about that. Very, oh. very male. Nice one. Uh, I'm Not even my things. tree. Oh, wow. Helping a neighbour with a tree. Glorious. I uh, got frustrated at not being able to make double double E 2K19 work how I want it to work. <laughs> well, there is a new one coming. Uh, I'm sure you can find someone to buy that for you. <laughs> 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 Let's hope so. <laughs> um, it wasn't Pedro, was it? He still needed a 3-2, he needed to put those assists in. I mean, it was a reasonably easy sack. Um, I do think, because it was... The range was there, I think he should have gone for that pass and tried to get to 1-1. He's in such a terrible position. Um, the Heat guys would have come back, he would have had a team. I know he's then got to stop the Wood Elves, and that's a nightmare, but... Um, I'm not sure he could have passed it. I think it's three and si three six ten, isn't it? Three six ten thirteen. I thought. I could be wrong. Let's find out. I thought it was three four three seven, but uh, I've been wrong before about passing because I very rarely do it, and the computer handles it for you. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, it is three six ten thirteen. It is three six. Yeah. So yeah, I've just pulled it up too. You're right, so it would have needed to go for it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Which is a 3 plus, and then a 3 plus throw, and then a 3 plus catch. Oh no, he, he did the 2 GFI still. Ah, uh, okay, so he was out of range. Yeah, yeah. he was just out. All right. yeah. he could, he would Furry have, muff then. You'd have had to pass it and hope it was inaccurate, or he could have just had a catcher in the end zone. And then it would have worked, wouldn't it? If he, if he, like you know, if he had, if he had these four players from the Heat. <laughs> but it wasn't a catcher, was it? It was a, no, it was it was a, a blitzer. Yeah. Blitzer. Yeah. yeah. So he just couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Fair enough. Yes, it's three six ten thirteen. You're right. Yeah. Not three seven ten thirteen, which for some reason was in my head. I knew there was one that was four spaces, not three. But I guess yeah. I got them the wrong way. Yeah, so so he put him in the end zone, then realised he was wrong, and then and then went the right way. To be fair, didn't he? So he did he did do half right thing. <laughs> he did do the half right thing. Hmm. Well, it turns out the one in the end zone would have been better, slightly screening the elves that came pouring towards the sack. Yes. Yes, of course. But, like it, it was it was obviously wrong because he couldn't pass it to him, but at yeah. least he recognised that he couldn't pass. Yeah, before he went. Plan before he stood there in the middle of the field going, ah, <laughs> yeah. ah, yes, mm, snow, right. <laughs> um, and yeah, he's paid the ultimate price for it, though. Let's hope he can kill a few elves. 
uh, it's a very, very, very interesting question, isn't it, Coffee Monster? And what exactly makes today Nick such a dominant force with the incredibly well-built Tier 1 teams that he coaches? <laughs> it's incredible. I, I guess the answer will remain a mystery. Because I rubble um, PC... Uh, yeah, in 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 Among Us, he uh, he wears a he wears a headband. So in JFW, he had a headband. But then once PC started streaming, uh, there was lots of jokes about him not looking at the screen and stuff, uh, or playing with his eyes closed. So then his his bandana became a blindfold. Yes, I have hooded eyelids anyway, uh, deep set eyes and slightly heavy hooded eyelids. And then the angle of the light I use and the fact that it's a webcam stuck on the top of my screen on a laptop sort of combine to mean that my eyes occasionally look closed while I am playing Blood Bowl. Um, so very quickly a joke arose that I play blindfolded. I don't even look at the screen or the game as I play, which um, is true. I don't really. Uh, and hence, yes, I started appearing blindfolded in the JFW, which I don't mind at all. <laughs> Glory. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, it's like my driving chimp. I only close my eyes at the difficult rolls, and when I'm driving, when I go around corners. Oh yeah, that's 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 a good strategy. Well, if it's going to go wrong, Jim, I don't want to see it coming. Yeah, it's absolutely absolutely right. Tagging the guard there, love to see it. I mean, we should talk about this game. It's over. Yeah, it's over. He's got no rerolls left, and he's oh, got a dicey team. It's just horrible. And every leap he's done has failed. Yeah. Think, <laughs> yeah. Which doesn't help a lot as Kislev. You sort of need some of them to be all right. Just one or two, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I respect that he's still going for it. I would still be going for it. Um, but yeah. it's it's all a bit hopeless. Yeah. And has been since the uh, since the rowdy sack on the side. In fact, it has been since the heat. Yeah, so I, since I, the I, since the wizard, I think. Yeah, the wizard. I mean, it it wasn't a terrible wizard turn. I would have gone to move the guy off the ball for those sets of dice, but I didn't have a strong look at how he'd have got to it otherwise. Um, he at least had a plan that uh, that you know had a, a successful outcome for him. If he made that three plus, it was only a two plus, a three plus throw, a two plus catch, and he was gone. Yeah. None of those are tough dice, but once you start adding them all together. You know, then it's very hard to expect you know, eight, even if they're all twos and threes, to work. Yeah. But it was a plan, and he put it into action, and it could have had good outcomes, but it didn't. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't really a criticism of his his, his no, plan no. or anything. Just once it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. His his defensive presence was shattered, wasn't it? And yeah. he had nothing. No. But as I said, there was still a way to not even bother defending the first half and just get enough elves out. And he did take quite a few elves out. Yeah. Just. It needed two or three more, um, and then the heat put paid to that. He couldn't start the second half as an aggressive, you know, I'm going to kick your ass team. He had to try for the quick score to get the, the heat people back. That failed him because of the blizzard, um, and now we are where we are. Yeah, he could have had a four plus pass, couldn't he? Four plus three plus to have scored if it wasn't a blizzard. But... Yep. Or risk the two plus for a three plus three plus. Um, but, you know, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus is a lot... Well, as we said, it wasn't there, was it? Because he used all his gopher, so mm. I'm wrong. But yeah, the 4 plus 3 plus is not terrible. With a reroll to throw at it. Not terrible. I mean, I, I feel very sorry for G-Car. This is one of those games where you go into it thinking, I really need to get lucky here, and he really has. Yeah. But he did, he did well to get the quarters, didn't he? That is that is great for Kislev. And especially yeah, he's with a coached well and done well. <laughs> especially with a rubbish Kislev team, right? He's basically well, got nothing. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, first of all, he won, of course, by the admins letting it in. <laughs> yeah. Never let that die. That's <laughs> going to be funny forever. Uh, again, I like that. If the only option is you dodge the bear in, then you dodge the bear in. So it's he's coming up with everything that I think he should be. It just none of it's worked. Ooh, that was the danger that Gadenic ran in the first half, wasn't it? Yeah, that? yeah. Well, I mean, at, at that point it didn't matter, but again, the fail at the wrong time for Gadenic, 
all the nice dice when he needed them and not the bad the bad ones came when he didn't care. Yeah. And for G-Car, nothing but pain and suffering as <laughs> every plan was doomed. Yeah. Yeah, there were, nobody on Earth was winning that match with it pretty much. That was, no. That was pretty horrible. 40 I think even, even someone as calm as Flicky Flack would have found that to be uh, a bit of a dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and honestly, this game and like other ones is just everything I hate about Kislev, right? Because when you use them... If yep. this happens, you just lose, and then when you yeah. play against them, if if you know nine out of ten leaps works, then you just lose, and I, I, yeah. I just kind of like hate them. Yeah, I mean they're they're very like vampires to some degree. It's very very dice variants, uh, and as you said, it's it's relying on that key dynamic really working for you, and it didn't. And remember, those four leaps, the ones that worked, were catchers, so they're leaping on a two plus. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think all the three pluses failed. Maybe there might have been one I missed that that worked. It's, it sure did feel like that, yeah. <laughs> it sure did feel like that. So that was that was just brutal, wasn't it? But hey, congrats to Gadadic. Commiserations for GCAR. Um, thank you very, very much, Purple Chest, for the Pleasure. Cool commentary. And, uh, uh, brief but beautiful little game of Love Bowl there. Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.